to be here with all of you. I am Alisha Bardai, and like Aditi mentioned, I am an educator, a mental health professional, and a poet as well. And yes, uh, being an educator, I think the last year has been on Zoom for all of us. And um, one common thing that we've been doing on Zoom is, can we turn on the cameras? So if all of you are able to do that, I would love to see your faces because there's nothing like the human touch, like the human seeing each other, right? Lovely. Thank you so much. I can see most of you and I'm happy that all of you have been able to turn on your cameras. Uh, for the rest, I do understand if it is not possible, do not force yourselves. Only if you're able to do so, I would appreciate that. Okay, lovely. Good. Now I feel like I can see all of you. People are alive. I thought half of them were not there. <laughs> no, it's amazing. I'm, I'm very happy. Okay. So um, poetry, I think everyone has their own meaning definition. But one thing that poetry honestly really means for me is that just being able to express whatever I want. Doesn't have to rhyme, doesn't have to make sense to the Samne Wala or anyone, but it needs to mean something to me. Why did I write this? Because I felt that emotion. Um, why did I write something else? Because I saw someone do that. Right. So it's just something that I have experienced personally or I have seen around. And I think that is what poetry truly means. We honestly, I think uh, for many, many people out there, poetry is that one way. Like if I cannot speak to everyone, I'll just write it down. And for me, especially, um, I don't take phone calls. That's like the biggest drawback I have in my life. And I prefer texting. And that's why I think that's where the writing part comes in. And I began writing poetry when I was in 12th grade, had no idea this was where it would lead me to. But when I began, it was the last pages of my civics uh, notebook and it would be some shairi or some sort of four liners that I was like, Chalo likhte hai. slowly I got really interested into uh, reading quotes and uh, passages online and especially Pinterest. And when I would read it, I would be like, you know, I can change this a little bit. And when I would change it for my own sake, that's when I realized that I can write it also. And that is exactly how the journey began. I started writing and writing and writing. And now I have like 900 poems online, but I haven't published anything as a book yet. But I think that is what it is. You put out your feelings, you put out your emotions, you just are expressing what you want to express. The first thing about poetry when you're writing poetry is forget about what people think. There is no such thing that they will judge you. People will always judge us. And irrespective, like, you know, no matter how many times mental health professionals will tell that stop judging others, try to understand their situation. It's going to be very difficult for everyone to adapt to that. And that's exactly why I tell that just write your heart out. Whatever you want to do, do. You want to like make reels, go make reels, man. That's your space. You want to write poems, write poems. You want to travel, travel whatever you can do in your limit that's up to you it's not for someone else and that is exactly why when I began writing poetry I was very much I was like what will people think and I slowly started sharing pieces of my poems that you know I've written this can you tell me how does it look like what do you think about it and um, I would get good feedback I would get bad feedback like stop writing like you know you're writing too much just stop and I didn't allow that to actually take over what I really wanted to do. And when that happened, I realized that it's not what people tell me that I want to do, but what I want, I will do it irrespective. And I think, I hope, I pray and wish that all of you build that spark slowly within yourselves that you will do what you want to do irrespective, right? And I hope that shows in your poems as well, right? Yes, Simran, please go ahead. Ma'am, I just want to ask, uh, do you have really not published any of your books yet? I haven't published any of my books yet. Um, I'm a bit of a procrastinator, so which means every time I want to uh, publish something, I have 15 poems ready, which I've not shared with anyone and I want to publish them, but I'm still waiting for more and more and it just keeps delaying. But hopefully this... Mama, I just want... Uh, yes, tell me. Can you tell something? I First poem when I was in class fourth for my school magazine. Mm -hmm. Then I to write, so I just started working on it. Amazing, please. I think so. All always poets have one piece that's always been editing and editing and editing. So just keep working on what you're working. I'm sure it will turn out as a master. Thank you, ma'am. 
All oh, right. Um, I think so. I see one question uh, before I move ahead. That what's my favorite genre? I'm a hopeless romantic, and I I don't know, fortunately or unfortunately, and anything that really has romance in it. Talking about feelings, it can be separation, it can be a uh, love, it can be any emotion that you feel, and if that comes out in the poem, something that's real and raw, I kind of look for that. so that's something i really absolutely love uh, in forms of genres and another thing i would say is self awareness something that allows me to think and reflect on myself that you know what makes me angry what makes me happy what makes me sad why am i reacting the way i'm reacting so i think these small things are something that kind of make me want to read a piece if i can connect with it yes deepika excuse me ma'am go ahead um like when you write poems based on which category do you write them because I... when i write poems i write it based on nature and stuff mm-hmm. and i have like four poems published in various books lovely okay so uh, you write on nature yes absolutely we can write on nature i think that's one thing that truly every poet has written on i i can guarantee you just like artists जैसा हम लोग सीनरी बनाते हैं वैसे सब लोग आई एम श्योर हैव रिटर्न ऑन नेचर इज वेल बट अदर देन दैट स्लोली एज आई केप्ट राइटिंग आई थिंक वन थिंग दैट रियली टच मी वॉज हाउ डू वी कनेक्ट विथ नेचर इवन इफ आई एम राइटिंग अबाउट नेचर वॉट इज दैट थिंग दैट मेक्स मी कनेक्ट विथ इट राइट हाउ वुड हाउ वुड आई सी नेचर हाउ वुड अदिति सी नेचर मे बी हाउ वुड रिक्शा वाला सी नेचर how would uh, maybe an animal look at nature i think so having those different perspectives different lenses is something also that we can look into as we write poems and that's one thing i have personally kind of try to write about as well so um deepika answering your first question what kind of uh, poems it's sam. I, sorry sam yes so the question the the uh, poems that i prefer writing is usually from my experiences from the songs i listen to the movies i watch anything that connects with me touches with me so that's something i kind of write on all right mom but is it easier when you like think of it as a perspective of art and the work um honestly from from my perspective from my lens i think whenever we write just trying to write it for others or trying to write that you know i will rhyme this poem or i will make it sound like this in the beginning itself may not lead to a finished product and uh, writing something that's very raw what you see what you feel in that moment what you can sense all of that being included will kind of take it forward you get what i'm saying Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. No worries. Okay, there are so many messages. I'll get to it. Yes, Amber, would you like to go ahead? Uh, hello, ma'am. My name is Amber, and I am seventeen years old. I am actually a budding poet, and recently I had my debut uh, poems published. And um, I am an introvert, a huge introvert, and. which um, make which is my drawback as a compiler people offered me many people suggested me to take up the post as a compiler and i happily took it i thought i i would be able to do it but now as i'm trying to reach people out it's being a big problem for me as um, being an introvert it's a big issue for me to interact with people and it's being a bit hard for me can you please suggest a few points as to how to communicate well I'll just tell you, you're asking an introvert this question, but all right. I think so. One thing is, uh, be be confident in whatever you do. Like trust yourself, believe in yourself. I think so. If I did not have that self motivation for myself, I wouldn't be where I am. And just just believe in yourself. Whatever you'll do, you'll do. It'll happen for the good. Everything will be fine. I've been compiling this one single book for the last two months, and I'm still not able to get the amount of uh, co-authors I'm supposed to get. and it's kind of a bit troubling me that's why i asked you that question 
I, 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 I can completely understand that, Amber. And um, honestly, considering that you have a goal that you have to reach, you have something that you have to submit, you have to finalize. I think so just keep working on it every single day. Maybe you've reached out to one person uh, today or two people or three people. Keep that to your goal that, you know, no matter what, the next day I have to reach five. That cannot be like, I cannot end it at three. And, you know, try to achieve those. Keep minimal goals, like every short-term goals than a long-term goal to reach that one, right? Try your best. I'm, I can understand being an introvert. It can be very difficult. If I want to call the Airtel guy to get my <laughs> subscription changed, I think 10 times, like, how should I do it? But I do yes. understand, uh, Amber. And I hope that slowly, if you'll work towards it, maybe talk to yourself understand what changes you want to bring within yourself and slowly that will help you get out of your comfort zone yeah thank you it's no quite a help for me no worries yes vinny i hope i won't go over time please uh, aditi do give me a time check yes uh, yes i just wanted to know that uh, like what poet like poetry for me is to accessibility to people so like sometimes you write so difficult words into poetry that people don't understand it so what is it the, the essence of poetry should be understanding or making it complicated for people like using just good words and all that so like this I is a very love this question Vineet, i love this question because i have been there when i thought that um if i use some technical terms that literature uses people will enjoy my work but then that is exactly where I hit the wrong spot that no one would understand what I'm trying to communicate. No one would get the essence. And honestly, there are simple words for those difficult terms. Then if there's something that's so simple, then why wouldn't I use it to reach a larger audience, to be able to provide that connection that they can understand what I'm trying to tell without them having to Google an English word, right? So if I'm reading a poem, I just want all of you to imagine if you're reading a poem, and in that poem, at least three to five times, you have to Google a term, a word. Would you enjoy that piece? Would you read more of that author? And somewhere or the other, I personally wouldn't. I would want to read something that goes in a flow. And that's where I landed to understand that I need to use simpler words. And I think, Vineet, that's what you were looking for. Yes, um, Amrita, would you like, Amita, yes. Hi, um, um, okay. <laughs> so I used to write a lot as a, when I was like younger, well, I'm like 15 right now, not too young, but so I used to write a lot, but then a few things went down. I stopped writing. I have not written in a while. And this is like me trying to start again, but I cannot write. I literally cannot. I have a few ideas in my mind, but I cannot write more. I can't emphasize. So like, what do you do when you? <laughs> again, I think I really like this question again, because I've been asked so many times, what do you do when you have a writer's block? Mm -hmm. And um, always I try to answer that I kind of not, I don't believe that there's a writer's block. And what we call a writer's block is more like we don't have that inspiration. We can't feel the emotions or that experience that we're looking for to write something. And that is exactly when I try to look around me, like anything around me, like a messed up table, a desk, a messed up desk with everything cluttered. I think that will then be my inspiration. Okay, what happened here? Who was the person sitting on this desk? You know, what may have happened if it was in a movie, if, it, if this desk was in a song? So I kind of try to put, I, I take a lot of inspiration for movies and songs. So I kind of try to put that thing in a situation that would really inspire me to write. Right? It's actually like quite frustrating when you can't write. I get so annoyed. I keep blaming myself for a lot of things. But I can imagine. I can imagine. I have so, so when I started the Instagram page, I was like, you know, every single day I have to put up a post. Slowly, 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 as I, I, as I kept posting, I realized that it's not just everything I'm feeling I'm, I'm experiencing that I'm putting out there. Sometimes I'm forcing myself to put something out there, which is not a piece I'm very happy about, which could have been better if I worked a lot more on it. And that's when I started, I stopped like, okay, it's all right if I didn't write something today, I will write it the next day. But I do understand that frustration that, you know, I want to write something, but what should I write? Where should I start from? So like the desk, the example I gave you of a cluttered desk in a movie, in a song, who would be sitting on it is kind of the way I try to approach this. Right. 
Yes. Thank you. Appreciate it. No worries. All right. Let's have Simran again. Um, if you've also put in questions in the chat box, I will need some time to go through them. But if any of you want to unmute and yes, Aryan, I can see you unmute. Hello, Hello ma'am. Uh, hello, ma I'm audible. Yes, you are. Okay, ma'am. Uh, so ma'am, my question is that like uh, before you just said, you know, that to keep things simple as much as you can so that the writer don't lose his connection and attention with the poem. So ma'am, I have you know, uh, finding problem in that, like I write usually simple poems to make it understandable to the readers. But the thing that I'm facing right now is that when I'm, you know, continuously doing that thing, that my poems are so simple that, you know, you don't have to read it to twice or thrice to, you know, get its meaning. And I can't put complex emotions and, you know, complex things in simple words. So can you, you know, suggest me how to make it simple and, uh, keeping it complex too so that you know writers just reaction is wow what this guy has written i i get it aryan um i think so some of my poems also don't make people read it twice i can guarantee you that but um again like you're mentioning that you also wanted to appeal to the audience right you want them to read it again or try to make meaning of what you've written um one thing i would say is reading a lot try and read as much as you can. It could be novels, it could be poetry books, anthologies, it could be anything, just read. The more you'll read, you'll get to uh, understand the various writing styles. I'm not even talking about the specific writing styles that already exist in literature. I'm talking about the writing styles of different authors, of different poets. How do they catch the audience? What about that poem kind of attracted you to read it? So you will have to read poems, you will have to read books to see what line is it that really caught your attention? What is it that made you stay and continue reading? All right, so if you will do that, I'm sure you will find a way to make your poems as such or something that appeals to the audience that you're looking for. Okay, thank you. No worries. Um, yes, Tisha. Uh, as you said, ki aaj if you are today, you do not complete the poem, you will continue tomorrow. But what uh, the problem I face is that if I am in the flow, I can write about 10 poems or so. So it's like uh, when I'm writing that, I just leave it till uh, like, uh, can I say in Arabic? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Please, Aati hai mujhe bhi Hindi. Go ahead. <laughs> But then what happens is that uh, after that I leave it. Then when I reread uh, re the poem after a few days, uh, that time I tried to continue it. But the wordings that time, like first time ke wordings are different than the second times. So like it sounds mismatched or something like that. What to do on that point? Like, I think Tisha just go on continue you're changing the words change the words you will again change the words keep keep editing that's all right your poem may begin somewhere and end somewhere if you're happy with it that's what you want right honestly i wouldn't tell you that um you if you have the right flow if you can continue and finish the poem in one sitting in one go very well that is what you you would like to do. But if you're still not satisfied with the end product, you can always go back and edit. And it's all right. Pure wordings change. Ho jayenge. I've written so many pieces. Start kahi se hota, end kuch aur hi ho jata. So that's all right until it's conveying what you've wanted to tell, right? Until it's conveying ki tumhara poem kyu likh rahe the to. Yes? Um, like, what kya hota hai? Um, main, uh like flow flow mein likh then hmm. fir ending mein jaake like i need uh, then main sirf lines ek para ya kuch add karti hu hmm. so it happens that wo para different sound kar raha hai puri poem se alag poem rakh do usko i i understand tisha what you're saying that uh, because it's already a few hours and days apart that you write the second part right uh -huh. so, see that's all right if it doesn't match with that it doesn't have to in that moment Visit it after a few days, you will see, you will be able to build that connection. Shayad say I've written something about nature and then I've written something about some a person, but they're not connecting, right? So it's all right. Give it a few days time, visit it again. Keep revisiting all your poems. There will be changes and you'll make those changes. 
इन दैट मोमेंट इन दैट वेरी मोमेंट शायद से मैच नहीं होगा लेकिन थोड़े दिन बाद वापस से देखो ओके एंड देन यू विल बी एबल टू मेक दैट कनेक्शन राइट ओके थैंक यू जिंदगी भर लिखना है ना तो यू कैन मेक दोज कनेक्शन योर एंटायर लाइफ यस और राइट लेट्स हैव ही नेक्स्ट हेलो मैम यस एम आई ऑडिबल यस आई कैन हियर यू मैम मेरा ये क्वेश्चन था कि मैं पोएट्री कर लेती हूँ लेकिन आई एम नॉट अ गुड परफॉर्मर ओके तो कैसे मैं अपने आप को इम्प्रूव कर सकती ओके टेल मी व्हाट मेक्स यू थिंक दैट यू नॉट अ गुड परफॉर्मर मतलब वो जो आवाज होती है एज अ पोएट जो चाहिए होती है वो नहीं आती okay see um, i'll tell you it's a practicing process even if you're writing you're re- reciting it reading it out practice practice karte raho practice karte raho look in the mirror mirrors are very helpful for performers look in the mirror just try to give your facial expressions you're sad try to bring that frown you're happy show it that you're happy right if you're trying talking about tumhari poem agar wo line aate ki you know okay i'll just give an example if i'm saying that okay i take a deep breath show that you're taking a deep breath right just practice chote chote techniques hote hai keep practicing those listen to many many spoken word artists i think youtube has many of them priya malik is one of my favorites i think and just keep looking keep keep listening to these artists look at them what are they doing what is really your style what do you want to do right yes ma'am thank you no worries let's have zaina I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Please, if your names I'm pronouncing them wrong, let me know. It's Zena. Yes, Zena. Yes. Uh, so the problem is I don't know where to put my poems out. Like, how do I present them to the world? Like, where do I put them out? Like, I've posted some in my WhatsApp. I think I wanted to give them a Instagram page, like a page where you know people perform. Like a lot of people have it, but I don't think so if it will work or it's just the see the. lack of confidence you can say or something i don't know but i just really want to a space for it like i should put out put them out like yeah um i can understand uh, the thing about budding artists or writers the biggest thing is ki kaun padhega like i want the world to see that you know i'm writing this come please read my work and um i think so the very reason i may have not yet published a book is i still want to reach to a larger audience second like you mentioned go for it you need an instagram page create that please again come to me just send me a message hi uh, i am from the curious sapiens um group from today and just send me a message and i would love to share all of your work please feel free just reach out to me and i would love to promote every artist out there so like you said zena go for it one suggestion just a personal um, experience that i want to share whenever you start a a poetry page or something of your own let it have your identity let, don't let that go like you know mm-hmm. bahut log they have different names like words by me or poems by me or something but give it your name let that be your identity right let mm-hmm. that definitely be there by you put it out there you want to publish a book reach out to publishers send your drafts keep writing um re uh, one big thing open mics like just an example for this poetry yeah. and there are yeah. many open mics that may be happening in your cities go for yeah. that right that is another great way to connect with other artists who will actually support you for what you're doing so i think just go for it if you're wait this is the sign that you have to start your page <laughs> thank you no worries mehwish let's go with you Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm Mehrish Rehman. I'm currently 15 year old, and my poems have been published in about four combined anthologies. Yeah. So, ma'am, the doubt I had that uh, I'm more interested in writing about the darker side of life, like on topics like a generation of dead flowers, etc. So, ma'am, whenever people hear my poem, they are always like, "My poem are way too pessimistic." So, ma'am, I wanted to ask: Is that a bad thing? Oh my god I wish I could write pessimistic poems I have okay so I think you that's a unique style that's your style and that's beautiful because for someone like me it's difficult to write something that's very negative or pessimistic and the yes, very ma'am. fact that you have that inbuilt that's something yes. you enjoy writing go ahead with yes ma'am okay. I'm sure there will be people out there who may not connect who may not understand for example yes, I'm just giving a, an example on top of my mind so many of my friends did not like their hiraya the movie yes, because mm-hmm. they couldn't connect with what was happening in it they would yeah. never do something like that 
but just yeah. because they did not connect does not mean it wasn't something that isn't real and what yes, you are talking ma'am. about is real right yes ma'am please keep keep doing what you're doing okay, you'll ma'am. get your audience i'm sure okay ma'am thank you so much ma'am no worries yes komal let's uh hear. guys so we're at 332 let's just take another 10 minutes at the max where we are looking at komal sanvi's and simran's questions and a couple of messages yeah then we'll kick off thank you so much aditi i needed that no, uh, okay komal so. uh ma'am would you allow me to speak in hindi yes please या सो बेसिकली मेरी जितनी भी पोयम्स जाती हैं चाहे मैं वो नेचर से स्टार्ट कर रही हूँ चाहे मैं बिखरे बालों से शुरू कर रही हूँ या चांद से वो हमेशा जाके रुकती है ऑन लव साइड द ब्रोकन लव सो बेसिकली मुझे मेरे जितने फ्रेंड्स हैं जो भी रीडर्स हैं लाइक like, जो भी पढ़ते हैं वो सब एक ही एडवाइस करते हैं कि तू तो लिखती अच्छा है बट वाई यू ऑलवेज राइट ऑन ब्रोकन साइड तो इसे बेटर भी कर सकती है तो मैंने उससे बहुत बार ट्राई किया कि आई शुड आई कैन डू बट नहीं हो पाता वह वापस जाता है और फिर वापस ब्रोकन साइड पे जाके खत्म होता है सो हाउ टू मैनेज दैट कोमल आई एम इन अ वेरी सिमिलर सिचुएशन आई हैव बीन देयर आई वुड से एंड लिटरली द एग्जैक्ट सेम थिंग दैट हैपेंस विद यू एंड आई थिंक इट्स ऑल राइट बट व्हाट योर फ्रेंड्स आर आल्सो सजेस्टिंग इज जस्ट दैट यू एक्सप्लोर डिफरेंट जॉनर्स इट मे नॉट बी परफेक्ट तुम शायद उससे खुश भी नहीं रहोगे कि मुझे ऐसा नहीं लिखना है या मुझे बिल्कुल मजा नहीं आया जो जिसमें मैंने लिखा है स्टिल कीप राइटिंग कीप राइटिंग ऑन डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स कीप राइटिंग ऑन एवरी थिंग स्लोली स्लोली वेन यू राइट इट वेन यू कमिंग टू दी एंड जो तुम बोल रहे हो कि हमेशा लव पे एंड होता है या ब्रोकन लव पे एंड होता है राइट सेपरेशन सैडनेस ट्राई टू ओके अगर इसकी एंडिंग कुछ और होती क्या लिखी होती मैंने ओके keep experimenting you don't even have to share that with everyone at the moment keep experimenting for yourself keep a goal ki every day i'm going to change the ending of my own poems right and try and see where does that lead maybe you may find that there's something that you really enjoy other than that right yes ma'am sure edit your own poems and wo to tumhari hai right so just keep trying to give it a different ending if you can okay ma'am yes all right yes sanvi let's hear from you uh yes so i want to say that like people online are always like uh, when uh, the topic of modern poetry is in discussion so uh, they are always like rupi kaur and amanda lovelace so they just say that they make statements so like what counts as uh, what does count as poetry everything man you what is poetry for you that counts as poetry okay um i do understand that uh, at least i've seen people uh, criticize the way rupi kaur writes uh, she's been made uh, fun of there's a lot of people who've trolled her but for me i think what she conveys is very very strong do line mein tum itna sara bol dete ho man who can do that very few people can do it and personally for me that is her strength right that is what she does best she's able to convey everything that she's been through in those two lines and what is poetry for you is yours to decide sanvi not for others because log bolenge ye rhyme nahi ho raha to ye poem nahi hai but for me rhymes are not necessary for a poem right so whatever it means for you is for you sanvi you get it yeah all right um i think so we can take kavya very quickly hello hi Hi, myself Kavya, and I'm 15, and I started writing poems after my grandfather's death. And people says that I'm a good poet, but I don't know. I lack confidence very much. Then how do I gain confidence? Um, Kavya, confidence. I think one thing about confidence is, bahar walo se to hai na wo mushkil se aayega. Like there will be very very few people. outside in in our family or strangers we don't know who will support us and that means confidence ka jo ek strength that you know where you will get it from is from within so irrespective of what others say like i've already mentioned it should come from within you have to believe in yourself okay look i wrote this and how beautiful is this i want to share it with the world i don't care what they tell me i want to share it right you like something you do it it's for you use a uh, positive affirmations every day I-, i love them like you know wake up in the morning just say today is going to be amazing today is going to be my day i am going to get through everything that comes in my way 
and that really helps you boost your confidence yes yes thank you no worries okay i'm going to go towards the uh, chat box uh, there are so many um aditi if you can help me track down a few questions that have been asked yeah that's a uh, i'll have to scroll up as well um give me a second okay i can see one that says what is your process to write a poem mm -hmm. yeah that's a big problem one. i face is how to start the poem i usually write down all my feelings and verses as inspiration comes but a big issue for me is to order them into a poem so this is a very nice question uh, divyansh that often uh, when we tell that write whatever you feel write down what you're feeling and emotions that you're experiencing but then like you mentioned this can be an issue that arises again um trying to convert sentences and verses into a proper poem may definitely be an issue the feelings that you're writing down write them down with another inspiration that you have for example if i'm feeling sad if i'm what would i do if i'm feeling sad try to put that down there okay now if i did this how would people around me feel like would they sense my sadness or they don't sense my sadness like no one would know but i am sad right just try to connect with the people around you connect yourself with the feelings um connecting the verses into one poem you know putting them in order definitely will be a challenge and i think personally if i just wrote down my feelings and then went to connect them i wouldn't be able to do that into a poem so what i would say is as you're writing down your feelings try to uh, bring that relevance what else are you connecting them with what else uh, can maybe sound like a poem as you write it down राइट जैसे तुम एक मूवी का सीन देख रहे हो ट्राई टू जस्ट ऑब्जर्व दैट पिक्चर रीडिंग ऑब्जर्विंग मूवी सीन्स आर बिग बिग एडिशन इन टू पोएम राइटिंग राइट यू नो जस्ट लुक एट दीज लुक एट दंटायर सीन इन इट्स होल यू आर फीलिंग सैड बिकॉज यू एक्सपीरियंस समथिंग वॉट इज दैट एक्सपीरियंस डिड समथिंग हैपन विद योर फ्रेंड्स विद योर फैमिली वाई डिड दैट हैपन वॉट कुड हैव बीन चेंज ट्राई टू आस्क दीज वाई क्वेश्चन एज यू राइट डाउन ओके Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Lovely. Uh, right. Alisha, there are a couple of questions around how do you go about publishing your stories as well. Um, I'm sorry, I may not be um well equipped to answer that question because I have none published so far. Um, yes, I have been reached out by many um people who compile anthologists, and I think so. We do have a compiler here. I am sorry, I'm one of those people who keep refusing. for my poems to be compiled but um, i do understand um, there are many many uh, i would say publishers out there looking for people looking for writers looking for authors send your work create drafts send your work they will suggest you what to do reach out to authors reach out to people who've published small authors who are not so famous maybe they will be able to guide you as well so try to reach out to publishers on yourself draft and edit your work as many times as you can all right And yes, I think so. You can always reach out to Amber. She is going to be very happy to compile your works into the compilation she's working on. I'd be very happy. And ma'am, why don't you put your works for a compilation, or put your own poetry book, or just give out a solo book? Uh, I am working on giving out a solo book, and like I said, um, I wouldn't be happy with just fifteen or twenty poems to be out there. So I want to give so many together. Like, you just take a book, take it. puri like you know just keep on going and traveling and that book will be your so i'm trying to still write a little more so that then i can approach more people out there well i hope you get successful in that i really would love to read out your poems thank you so much amber thank you um aditi any more yes a uh, couple of more um i think there's a lot of talk around long poems versus short poems and how short poems seem to be uh, making more of an impact these days um, um yeah. lovely question because i think this was one of my poll questions on instagram a few years ago like what would you like to read long poems or short poems and i think many many people do prefer short because the again the same thing that it can convey a lot in those four lines five lines and when you go to read a long poem sometimes the uh reader may lose that interest although they may be reading they may see a chap chala gaya wo ek line agar beech mein aa gayi that they're not connecting with or relating with they may just swipe and not read so one thing i think the very fact that many poems these days are on social media are through the platforms of whatpad and instagram and facebook and i'm i'm not sure many more out there the very fact is the attention of the reader it won't last long reels 
IGTV is now out. Instagram is on banning IGTV. So you can imagine the impact Reels has had. And that's just a shorter version of a video. And I think it's very similar to poetry. If we lose the um, reader, we've lost them for the next couple of phones that we'll put out there. So try to grab their attention in, if you're good at long, good for you. But if it's an issue, then prefer short. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, also the couple of questions on how do you sort of put words to an emotion? Um, and I think Swasti has elaborated a bit on it where she's saying that even if she does feel that emotion, she doesn't feel relaxed and she ends up uh, leaving that poem incomplete in frustration. So is there anything you suggest? in that space um i will uh, explain i will i kind of answer this with one of my poems but before i go on to that i do understand that frustration and uh, like we've earlier discussed one thing i would say just stop for a second just like let it be that if you're not at all happy with what you're writing you'll have to stop there because it's your happiness over what you're writing right and just take a pause over there gather what you want to convey, gather all you're trying to think, because at the time when we're trying to write something, we have so many thoughts, you know, should I rhyme this? What word should I use? What are some synonyms for um, some word? And at the end, we kind of lose that emotion that we've been trying to write about. And we're focused on the literacy, like, you know, the word part. So um, personally, I feel we should keep on holding on to that emotion rather than the words, the words will come later. If not now, the emotion will go. What you're feeling right now will go, but the words for that emotion will come back to you. So um, do not compromise on what you're feeling, but also do not forcefully write something that you're not meant to convey. For an example, like I mentioned, I have there, there have been times when I was in school, when I was in college, I have really felt like the odd one out. I felt the one who was left in all groups and I never fit in. And it's only recently, like I felt that emotion when I was in college and it's only very recently that I wrote a poem about it, right? So I wouldn't tell, like you mentioned, I wouldn't tell you may not be able to put words to that emotion in that moment, give it some time, right? So I think, um, how much time do we have Aditi, if I can know? About a minute or so. All right, so I think so then I am going to pause the questions Please, 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 everyone, feel free to just DM me, reach out to me anywhere you can email me. I'm available everywhere. I will immediately respond. Um, so please just reach out if I haven't answered your questions. I'm sure that there, there may be many and um, we have very little time left. So before we move on to giving you the topic and for you to write on it, I would love to share the poem that I was talking about. Uh, it's about feeling unwanted when we don't fit in a group. And I would end my talk with that, uh, if that's allowed. And I've called this um, piece Puzzles. So I, I honestly don't hope you connect with it, but if you do, this poem is for us. It's usually weeds that are unwanted, but sometimes also the way people can make you feel. Making you feel less of a person and more of a baggage that they don't need. As if you're the fifth one in a group of five and the third in a group of three, as though you're trying to fit in where you're not meant to be. Despite the effort, you seem invisible, blending so well into the crowd. You try your best to feel like you belong, but you're always made the odd one out. As though they're telling you that there's the door and don't try to come back, you're welcome no more. You're struggling too much. You're trying so hard, draining your energy that now you're tired. You're tired of trying, of trying to belong, trying to fit the right lyrics to the wrong song. Like that piece of the puzzle that never fits in because the piece was right, but the puzzle was wrong. So please don't change who you are within. Change the puzzle or the song for where you're truly meant to be, you'll never feel that you don't belong. So um, thank you so much. And I am looking forward to reading all your poems on the given topic. Just keep in mind, write what you feel, write your emotions, write uh, rhyme, don't rhyme, it's up to you. Give your best. Um, yeah, I think that's all I've written for all of you. Just keep writing and I'm really excited to read what you have in store.
Wow, Risha, thank you so much for sharing. That was amazing. That was really amazing. Please, please do share this poem with us as well. It was really deep. I think you're getting quite a few comments in the chat as well. But very, very relatable, very motivating, very inspiring as well. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I wish, I wish we had more time. Like uh, I can so totally hear you go on speaking for the next twenty more minutes. But uh, yeah, let's let's try and do more of it. Uh, maybe in a while. But guys, moving on. Uh, I know everyone's excited uh, to to start writing. I'm super excited, as Arisha mentioned, to reading what you uh, guys put down. So quickly, gonna share my screen. Um, with the topic so guys uh topic for today is peace now obviously the interpretation of this uh is totally up to you whether you are questioning peace in today's day and age whether you're feeling at peace what makes you feel at peace is it peace or pieces whatever it is however you want to interpret peace again it's your personal poem so so go for whichever interpretation makes more sense to you uh the other thing that uh, we would like you to sort of look at if possible is if you can include something to do with spirit um in your poem so this can you question. please once again show the topic First, like, peace topic for the term. it's peace can you, you can see my screen right yes ma'am Ah, uh, so I mean, this is just—I mean, this is more for elaborating on what uh, could be uh, taken as an interpretation of peace. But go for any interpretation, anything at all beyond this as well. Um, and the other thing that you guys need to probably look at uh, and think of how you can put in the word called spirit. Now, this is a from a word standpoint. I'm using spirit. So again, the interpretation of spirit can be anything. Again, it could be, you know, a spiritual wala spirit. It could be you know, drinking wala spirit. Whatever it is. Right. Any questions, guys? Which email do you submit it to? Okay, Marsha has raised her hand. Let me quickly shop there. Yeah, Marsha. Um, hi. I just wanted to know that since we have uh taken up three more minutes, will our deadline be extended? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. I think, guys, we have time till four thirty. If that's okay, I think forty minutes should be good for all of us. Um. And yes, so we'll connect back at four thirty. Ah, uh, English or Hindi? It's up to you. Whichever language out of the two makes you most comfortable with. Sorry, Simran, your voice is getting cut. Repeat the topic once again. The topic is peace, and you've got to include the word ah uh, or the concept of spirit in it. Ha huh, Ru, I was going to, I was going for Ru or Vishnu, but <laughs> thanks, thanks. Yeah, it's Ru or Atma. Yes. Ah, uh, any other questions, guys? Zena, yes. Um. So, do we have to add the particular word spirit, or what we feel about it? Like, if I feel spirit about anything else, so I should add the. If you can add the word like spirit, that would be great. um yeah that's that's the idea all right cool uh amita anything from your side um, i've been asking what email do we submit it to oh i i, I put that down on chat uh, on the chat it's seek the search at curiousprints.com oh but okay um yeah okay anandita is it possible that i don't recite my work um Anandita, that is an option, but I would urge you to be able to recite it. If your mic isn't working, then we'll consider the poem. Of course, we'll consider the entry. But I think um, someone else also asked this question earlier. I think there are a couple of marks on how you present, so that will be considered. But but go for it, like go for writing. I think that's more important. That's the bulk of what you'll be looking at, I suppose. So yeah, Amit also asked that question earlier. Anything else, guys? Should we kick off? I'm feeling super pumped myself after hearing all of the emotional, uh, emotional and motivational stuff that Alicia just recited. Uh, title, title can be anything, guys. That's a good question. The Danshi title is up to you. You can tamper with it. You can tamper with your title, and you should tamper with it. Please don't keep it as peace. Peace is just the just just an interpretation prompt of sorts. 
yeah you can email it by 4:30 ayush as soon as you're done with it you'll have to join back on the same link guys uh, at 4:30 uh no nothing else harsh um can we leave the meeting now yes yes please leave i would urge you guys to leave and rejoin at 4:30 if you guys are clear and no other questions please leave and rejoin at 4:30 oh, thank you title Excuse yes me. harshita title is yeah, it would be great if you can title your poem excuse me yeah yeah amba uh actually i want to ask that as uh, you said that we have to use the word in spirit if we can in the poem so is it the same with the word peace or no, we no, can peace is, peace peace is just your interpretation of what peace means to you but spirit okay. is more like if you can use the word uh Thank you. again with any either of the two interpretations of spirit Diti ma'am, uh, spirit means soul, right? Yes, yeah, spirit can be soul. Spirit can be spirit, as in ghost. Spirit can be something that you drink. Alcohol. Yeah, it could be alcohol. Join at four thirty. Yes, Tina, four thirty. Same link. Okay. Yeah. Guys, feel free to drop off. Uh, yeah, Kush, but I'll just put it. Simran, yes, your voice is getting cut. Mama, I have mentioned my YouTube channel in the comments and the chat. Please watch it for me. I can't hear you, Simran. I I can. I think you put your YouTube channel. That's great. If you can just send it over on my email ID, we can have a look at it later. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Simran. Anything else, guys? Feel free to drop Excuse off. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. Yep, sure. Not can we include in the poem the element of noise as some as uh, being yeah, opposed yeah. to peace? Yeah, yeah. If you're totally opposed, yeah, that's that's your interpretation. Absolutely, yeah. Go for it. So the poem can be centered towards noise, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be centered. Absolutely, it's it's there is no peace, so it can't. So peace can be interpreted as there is no peace, and no peace can be noise. Absolutely. Yeah, go for it. uh samriddhi it's peace your interpretation of peace um and you got to use the word spirit somewhere cool if there's nothing else guys let's see you back here at 4:30 i'll close the meeting now